Hey everybody, welcome to Random Projects with Danger. I'm Danger, or at least that's what they call me. This episode is about the Bubba Car Go Kart. This is the condensed version. There's four episodes of the build out there already, from beginning to end. This is the short little video that's going to show you the gist of it. So I hope you enjoy. I definitely don't claim to be a professional, but if you don't know what you're doing, don't try this at home. So we just picked up the next project. I believe it's 1960s. We'll have to get a little more information on it. We're gonna be doing a go-kart. So we're gonna take this lawnmower, take the body off it, and we're gonna body swap it with the bumper car. That's the game plan. This is the original seat that came out of the bumper car. As you can see, it's in rough shape. This is the padding that goes on the inside of the cart. It's junk. That's where these pads go. Right on the inside of each where the doors would be. I made a filler panel down there that's going to get upholstered as well. And those are the old ones and I made two new ones over here to get upholstered. All the pieces are done. Came out good. About seven million staples, half a box of screws, and some zip ties. Done. Somebody put this 12 horsepower on it. I don't know if they blew up the original engine or not. Uh, the next thing is this steering shaft. It angles back, and believe it or not, the dashboard is going to end up right in here somewhere. So we need to somehow reverse this to angle this forward, then we can put a couple U-joints in it and get the steering wheel on. Uh, we want that to be angled in the other direction. Maybe about the same amount of degrees. Gonna wire brush this frame outside so I don't have to dust up the shop. Can't see. So I'm trying to figure out how to mount this thing. What I've come up with, surprise, surprise, is a hinge mount. So I went and I bought gate hardware. I welded up a bracket for it. Put some springs and a little release. 
And then I bent the catch, welded it to the frame. Now it's got a latch. And there's the release. Brake rod assembly is all done. Goes all the way to the back. And if you want to set the parking brake, you step on the brake. You lift up on that and it holds the brake in the down position. And all you need to do to release it, step on the brake again. Gonna go right there and that's gonna be our shifter one set screw one really really shiny buffalo nickel has a push button I've disassembled this gate hinge turning this into a door hinge came out pretty good So this is the clutch pedal. I have the mower up on its side. This clutch pedal has to be moved forward about six and a half inches or so if it's gonna match where the gas and the brake are. And we have clutch. Trying to figure out how the exhaust is going to go. I want to run dual exhaust all the way out the back of this thing. Since I'm working on the exhaust today, it's only appropriate that the mandrel bent tubing would show up. So that's a good thing. The old Amazon. Okay, you got the driver's side exhaust all fabbed up. Out to the little mini muffler with a straight pipe out the back. As you can see, there's plenty of open space in there. So my plan is to weld in some braces, as you can see right there, and we're gonna skin this with plywood. Floorboards are all in place. Nice and quiet. Oh, we got a 
fuel leak. It ran pretty smooth and it ran nice and quiet. The shifter bracket broke. I wasn't able to put it. You can see it's cracked right there. I'm gonna have to weld that back up. Successful first run. Working on cutting out a piece of wood for the dashboard. Yeah, human CNC machine. Let's go. Well, it's time to do some body work. I like to uh, call a body work my arch nemesis. Bondo glass has the fibers in it, added rigidity and strength. It's called finish sand. And from what I'm told, it's really good for laying down over fiberglass, so. The first coat of feather fill is done. Well, that was a ton of sanding, body work, sanding, filler, sanding, filler, sanding, filler, and then a couple more rounds, I think. Anyways, I didn't make you watch all of that because that was a lot of work. But we're about to mix up some primer.
time to mix up some gloss sauce. Just finished laying down the gloss sauce. Totally worth it. Right, we started out wet sanding with 800, then we went up to 1,000, then 1,500, 2,000, 3,000, and finished it off with 5,000 grit before we buffed. And this is what we came out with. Beautiful. I'm a big fan. Just got a fresh delivery from Mom's Upholstery Shop. Nice shift boot. And the flag for the pole. Well, that was a fun build. I really like how it came out. A lot of hours. I would have to say over 100 hours in this project. Uh, I didn't actually keep track, but there was a lot. I'm very pleased with the results. You can pretty much do anything you want to do. Pretty much. The amount of hours it's going to take and the amount of effort you have to put in, obviously, that's going to vary. Don't let somebody tell you that you can't do something, because you probably can. If you want to see the full build on this go-kart, uh, you can check it out in the links below. I just want to give a shout out to my fellow YouTubers. I watch a lot of YouTube builders, fabricators, makers. 
Um, there's too many to list, but just a couple right off the top of my head. Derek from Vice Grip Garage. Kevin Tates from Paint Education. Cletus McFarland and the boys. Puddin'. Can't forget Puddin'. All the guys over there at Fab Rats. Adam Savage is tested. Uh, Rory from Trail Mater. Matt's off for recovery. A-Bomb 79. Uh, Adam Booth pretty much uh, taught me a lot of stuff on how to use my lathe just from watching YouTube. Very educational stuff. There's just way too many to list. All those shows, guys, check them all out. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.